These people got taken away from their family. I don't care was there 10 or there was, there was 60. They got taken away from their family, you know, and now they want to come back to them. And just like I said, putting these houses back together has helped them do it. The only thing I can say, I, I've lost a lot. I've lost my wife. I lost a mother that was grieving to come back home. This is my house before Katrina, 20 years in this house. Get my house back together. It's all right for me, but they got thousands of people still need help out there. Some are homeless, some still in Houston, some in other states. It's just a slap in the face, you know? It's almost like they don't want the people back in, in New Orleans. I just wish uh, people, more people would come and not look, listen at the news because the news always saying New Orleans is back, they're, they're lying. It's not back. It's not back until the people get back. This is New Orleans East, which is one of the areas that got hit the hardest. You see the water line on the wall? This is how the water was. That's exactly how my units looked before. This is kind of the, you know, the before effect of my units. You go over there and see after the fact, after the fact. This property, it was way worse. Holes in the ceiling, a lot of the uh, roof collapsed in the back. So we had to reframe the whole building, re, uh, you know, put new siding on, and uh, basically redo the whole thing. Uh, this one we wanted to do a little, uh, we're gonna do low income housing. But before it was, it got crazy because they kind of piled it up with a lot of young Section 8 people. And, you know, they really couldn't keep it going and it turned into like a disaster area. You know, yeah, a lot yeah. of shooting and stuff was going on. So I know New Orleans kind of want to make, they don't want to repeat themselves. You know, we want to kind of make it a, a better place. We have like four washers, two dryers, and some TVs in there, you know, where they can sit down. I'm going to put a little bench area out here, you know, so they can kind of sit and read books or whatever. Last time I seen it, man, all that stuff was molded upstairs. They had, you could tell where they had cut holes in the roof where they were trying to like rescue people during the hurricane. It was just straight studs. It was falling apart. I come in, you know, at ground zero. And they did a good job of gutting it. It's a clean gut, you know? So it's easy to redevelop. And I tell them, look, take this wall out, make an arc here, you know, open this up. I do all the structural, you know, remodel. Structure's still solid, you know? It took us three and a half months from start to finish. We finished this whole job. I looked at some property that I thought was a great investment for him that he could flip and make money on. Because I was a business person, you always got to think about making that one. He said, no, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to help the people get the houses back together. I want to rent them to the people that need rental. He says, I don't need it just to make the money. When I first got it, people were coming here like, man, what you doing with that crap, man? You need to... Yeah, you need to demolish, just tear the whole thing <laughs> down, you know? It was like, that ain't got no life. But look at it now. And at that time, I think I sat back and said, this guy's for real. I don't know, you hear people, people saying one thing, you hear somebody else saying another. I don't care, I'm just trying to make a difference myself. So whatever I can do, you know, to make a difference, that's what I'm going to do. See what I can produce, and let me get the people back.